balance. And as long I as they're not too concerned, the member. I think we've done well. Expired. Thank you. I call the Honourable Shane Jones. Uh, Te Nākwe, I stand to take Shorter. a short call on this particular bill, which obviously New Zealand First supports. Uh, my thoughts actually go back to the uh, troubled time when an erstwhile colleague, David Cunliffe, had some measure of influence over this sector. And in those days, Theresa Gatting, if I'm not mistaken, was the CEO of Telecom, and Roderick Dean was the chair. And we were concerned about the inordinate amount of influence and power that uh, that entity, Telecom, enjoyed, monopolistic power. And the virtue of this bill is that time has passed, and now what we're doing is that we're looking and surveying a situation where there's more competitiveness. But within that more competitive structure, there are still unfinished issues. And one of those does need to be elaborated upon, partly because it was championed, as my colleague um, Claire Curran has referred to, by Minister Tracy Martin. And that was to ensure that stranded communities or legacy communities, given that I'm 59, I'll soon be over 65 if uh, my uh, rugby former injuries don't blight my prospects in the future. The um, reality is that not everyone is as comfortable or as adept as the new generation in using technology. So when we uh, developed uh, protections in this bill to ensure that uh, emergency calling was not left um, to the winds of uh, arbitrary decision makers in these organisations, that we ensure that uh, communities uh, in rural New Zealand, and in, in particular uh, communities of the elderly, aren't forgotten about. And as we actually are further rolling out uh, ICT services through, I uh, digress for a minute, Madam Speaker, through the Provincial Growth Fund, we're actually building upon something that I personally agree with what was done. Uh, you can debate whether or not Stephen, uh, the former Minister Stephen Joyce took the right approach, but he most certainly put the proverbials on the line and committed the Crown to an enormous amount of capital expenditure. Uh, in my part of the world, we've actually seen uh, that model roll out quite well, certainly in Whangarei, not so good further north. So, um, Madam Speaker, the, whilst it's uh, had a long-term gestation, we won't have a modern economy with what we expect for this generation and future generations unless we get the right balance between investment and a strong regulator. And uh, I'm very happy to see that the bill does not cancel the levy. I quite like the model of a levy and look forward to applying it to other parts of the economy. If it's good enough for the telecommunications part of the economy, I see great prospects uh, in the banking part, but that unfortunately lies with the, another minister. However, my advocacy will not be quelled. So uh, without further ado, uh, our, our party supports this bill and commend its expeditious passing through the House. Well Speaker. I call Ian McKelvey. Well, uh, uh, Madam Speaker, give me uh, 